All right, welcome back to Kettles One War Stories. Uh, this is part two of uh, when talking shit goes bad. I was pretty much done with that other story. Uh, my roommates they told me that black dude was uh, crazy, which I replied, "Shit, so the fuck am I?" <laughs> but they're like, "No, nah, he's real crazy." To which I say, so the fuck am I? And that shit's documented. <laughs> Don't fuck with me. <laughs> but yeah, that was pretty much it. Um, my roommate ended up throwing me a fat ass lines for doing that shit too. For scaring them fuckers off. Yeah, they did call the police and fucking cops came. But I wasn't there, you know. So they just fucked off. But uh. Here goes a new story. Story number three, when talking shit goes wrong. Well, actually, it kind of didn't really go wrong. It's more hilarious what happened. Uh, we had some Halloween party at my ex-girlfriend. Well, actually, we're still pretty much together. It's, it's complicated. Um, kind of why I don't really play Dead by Daylight right now, because we broke up and I live somewhere else. Anyways, it was Halloween. We were having a crazy ass party. And uh, I made something with like some fruit juice and some cheap ass alcohol. I'm sure it tasted decent enough, but uh, it's like force feeding to my homeboy TJ. And we had some decent looking girls there. They were younger. I mean, not like younger, they're like in their early 20s, you know? Like, that kind of younger and i was like uh 30 or we were like you know late 20s early 30s type shit they're like early 20s mid 20s decent looking chicks but they you know they all had boyfriends plus you know my girl was there but my homeboy tj was having none of that shit he was just drunk as fuck and it was my fault kind of because i was force feeding him the liquor and he kept just hollering and hollering and one of the dudes there some uh some white dude but he was he was a gd we main acts you know we main act disciple but we uh running a crew maniac gangster disciple which is like uh a combination of two it's like uh we use that so we can recruit some of the gd schools you know what i'm saying it was like a coalition if you will anyways Dude was not taking kindly to TJ hitting on old girl and shit. He just kept getting mad and uh, you know, TJ kept saying sorry and her shake up. <laughs> he just kept doing it though, and dude was getting madder and madder. And I was starting to get mad too, cause like dude, chill out. He's drunk, man. He can't even defend himself right now. You should keep trying to fight him. Dude can't even fucking defend himself. <laughs> man, at some point we got outside. I took my shirt off because I'm like ready to fight. It was, it, yeah, it was, it was Halloween, but it wasn't really that bad out. And at least I think I took my shirt off. Some crazy like that. It's like ready to fight. And this dude was my homeboy Bud Bud said later on that this dude's not as tall as I say he is. But to me, he seemed tall, tall like six two. I'm only like five nine, five ten. I guess me. Hold on, I'll just I'll keep going on the story before I say why i think you saw it but i'm like man i'm about to beat this motherfucker's ass talking all this shit it was funny because the dude hurt me <laughs> he's like what the fuck did you just say <laughs> and i you know i can't just back down i can't just say oh no man i was just playing man you got to keep on with that shit you got to keep with that same energy so i'm like yeah motherfucker what's up you want to fight so we get to going at some point he just, oh man, I'm sorry, try to shake his hand or some shit. Dude pushed TJ's drunk ass over. And like I did, I got a punch in. But my little ass cousin Matt, he's like two years younger than me. But he was just, man, he was not feeling that dude. He just got mad, start banking that dude. And that's why we thought the dude was so tall, because uh, Matt is real short. <laughs> but Matt just banked his ass up though. Like, man. 
it was just funny the way he folded his ass and just beat the fuck out of him. You know, I'm punching him and shit. It was crazy, so. But yeah. This shit was crazy. And he had some brass knuckles, but he didn't use it. And this is when we had my cousin Bubba living with us. And that was Bubba's homeboy. And, we, and I was about to throw him out straight up, because like, yeah, he's your homeboy, but I'm your cousin. So, he's supposed to be on our team. And he was getting mad. He's like, he wanted to give the brass knuckles back, which he did. But I was really just ready to throw his ass up. Cause it was like a battle. His booty from the battle. <laughs> and it was funny. We were mad at TJ because he started all that dumb shit. Oh, we wrote on him so bad. Put dicks all over his face. And I ended up talking to that dude we fought too. And like, yeah, it got pretty hectic. Like, like he was talking about pulling up and everything. And like, I had to let him know why we had to jump his ass and fuck his ass up. But we we ended up kind of cooling out, and I sent him that picture, and he just laughed, you know. And it's funny because my cousin and Matt, this dude kept being cool with the that dude, and he seen my cousin Matt, and the way Matt was talking, he's like he's all smiling and shit, <laughs> just kind of like chuckling. He does this stupid smug face, like like he wasn't really trying to fight that dude. Then the dude, he still he was butt hurt about it. Like, he just walked out the door and left. He was so mad. He just did. Fucking hilarious. But yeah, that was, uh, yeah, it really didn't work out for him. So I guess, whatever. It was still a good story. But yeah, that's when uh, talking shit goes wrong or whatever. I'm trying to think if I can think of another quick one before I'm done. No, I think that's good. I'll try to come back with another one soon. All right. Thank y'all. Y'all have a good night and all that shit. I'll be back on Dead by Daylight soon. Peace.